M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Linko DJ X100 and today we're talking Poxag. So we've put the radio into Poxag mode, you go menu, data, set, and you choose Poxag set, okay? So, and I have made a separate video showing you how to activate the, the Poxag, it's, and I'll put that video in the description. So once we've got it activated, then we're going to start sending pager messages. And the way I'm going to do that is use my hotspot. So this DV Mega Genesis hotspot and all hotspots actually can actually send pager messages. Now, you do have to register with DAPnet, which is here. You can download the app. And there's, again, I'll put a video in regarding registration. OK, I wonder if it shows me up on the map. We, we have just used it. So let's just hit here. M0FXB, because I just made a transmission. OK, so it works. And I know it works, so I'm going to show you it working. So there's a couple of bits you have to do. Go into your configuration. And you I've turned off DMR at the moment. It was on DMR. And turn on Poxag. When you turn on Poxag, you then have to put in a password that you get from DAPnet, which is called a transmitter password. It's not the login for your DAPnet account, it's the transmitter. Okay, and then M0FXB, and by default, the frequency is 439.87500. Turn on POXAG. And once you've done that, you'll, you'll get a dashboard. Look at all these messages, yeah? These are all messages, and I've only sent two myself, okay? A lot of them are just coming through, because I've told it, and if you go, I'm not going to show you now because it will show you my password. If you go configuration, expert, and then DAPnet, you put in your login password. This is slightly different for DAPnet. So it's not the transmitter password. It's your login. OK, so and there's all the messages coming through. Then the nice thing about the Genesis is that it will actually send a message. So we've got two ways to send a message. We can send a message by tapping the DV Mega DAPnet. Now, my big fingers always muck this up, but you just you get like a keyboard. Let me show you a second. All right, let me show you. So now there's, there's messages coming through. If we just go back, hit DV Mega, uh, and and then DAPnet, and you can't actually send messages on a normal hotspot, but you can receive them. Send message. You type. Let's just go HH and then enter. And if I don't get it right, I keep pressing delete. And then we go, yes. OK, and it's now sending a DAPnet message. OK, and if I turn up, we've got the Alinco tuned to the same frequency, 439-9875 Poxide. But, and it does receive the sort of transmission tones, but nothing shows on screen. And if you go set and go to message log and set, there's nothing there. So maybe there's a program that, that this is going to, you know, link via the USB cable that will show us those messages. But what I can do, they are sending now. But what I can do, though, yeah, is I can send a message to this pager, which is the, you may not have heard of this, 602R that's got the same frequency. And this pager has been registered with my DMR number, but it's not actually called an RIC number, but it's the same as my DMR number uh, to receive messages. So if I go into the DAPnet app like so and go at the bottom here, you can't see it, but it says, let me see if I can move it up a bit. Just I'm keeping it flat so it fits in the screen. Um, I'm going to go here where it's blue. It says send message and I got my call sign and I can go. Let's go ham tech. OK, and then it does want my call sign, which, which don't forget is registered with DAPnet. Otherwise, it, it definitely will not work. B and then Andreas, I, I told it to send to all. And then we're going to go send. So look, a couple of messages have come through. Ham text come through. So that's got a radio signal. Yeah, from. It actually got the signal actually from the hotspot. Pox up my Alinko did hear it, but there's, it's not able to show the message because it's just not working. And I can go into my messages on the app and it will show the messages um, as well on this app. I'm not going to do it now. So 
thought I'd show you all this. I know it's quite a lot to take in. I, it took me a while to get my head round DAPNet, you know, when I first, first, first decided I was going to have a go at getting it working. But it is fun. There's no doubt about the fun the fun of it. And then if you go back to the dashboard here, you can see Poxac. Now, I can turn back on DM. You can see the Poxac transmission there, look. Um, and down here, look, and you'll see Hamtech at the top of the list there. So it's one of those things I've showed you as much as I can. You tinker with it. I mean, the Alinko, I just had a friend say to me just now, you know, is it worth the money? Well, I actually think at £499, the fact that it can receive DMR D-Star Fusion, if we go Configuration and turn DMR back on, Apply. Now, it can only receive one thing at a time, unfortunately, but if we turn DMR back on, so we'll go Mode Digital Set. Go to DMR, set, and then put in my hotspot frequency, 431.550 set. So that should, when my hotspot logs in in a minute on DMR, it should come to life. Let's give it a sec, because it will receive both at the same time. You'll get your pox tag, and then here comes the DMR now. Just turn it up. Just need someone to actually key and speak. So you can see them key in there. On, and if you want, if you'd like to get yourself a DV Mega Hotspot, and there is a smaller version, but really, if you want the one that can send messages, I would say get the three point five inch or bigger version. And here it goes. There you go. And you know why get the um. Why get the Alinko? Because it's a good question. It's a lot of money. You know, 500 quid for a, basically a receiver, yeah? It's because it, it does everything. It does DMR, D-Star, Fusion, NXDM, Poxlag, DPMR. It does airband really well. It's a really neat, compact size, yeah? Just grab it there. This is the EU version. You can change the screen colours. So you know to pick something up and go out and about along if you if you know the frequencies and the software is coming out in a couple of weeks. But uh, RR UK have now got live software where you link to it and you can send instantly. And I've made a video on this: airband, marine band, PMR, everything you like. Instantly send it to the um the the you know the scanner and it it puts them one after the other. So if you send fifty channels at a time. It'll go 1 to 50, 50 to 100, 150 to 200. It's it's really intuitive. RRUK. Let me just show you the link. And here's me waffling away. Using the actual software. It's called Radio Reference UK. You download it. It links. You can see it there. It's sent them all in a long row up to 29 and then further on I load a load more so definitely check out that video thanks for watching my channel bye for now seven